I grew up seeing my mother cooking in the kitchen for the whole family. She would maintain the kitchen as if that was a place of worship for her. Clean, spotless. Not only that, I never saw my mother soiling her sari ever. And that made me think when I grew up, I would be as astute as my mother in the kitchen. <laughs> Silly me. Most of my clothes would get soiled when I cooked. That's something I have been witnessing and would always feel if my mother could do, why couldn't I? Aprons are a great option while cooking, cleaning or doing any chores that have the potential to soil or tear the clothes. However, it is also important to understand which apron would suit your needs the best. I thought of sharing some details based on my experience so far that may help you pick the right apron from the store. You can find the aprons in any department store or where you get home and kitchen products. I am heading to one such store to check out the aprons. If you want to buy, what are the things that you look for in an apron? Among many other kinds, the most popular ones for someone like me who needs an apron for home chores are bib apron, pinafore apron and waist apron. Let me explain in short how each of them is different from another. The bib aprons are probably the most known type of apron. These aprons have a loop that sits around the neck and they tie around the back at the waist level. These are most convenient to wear if you are cooking or cleaning at home. Many of these aprons also have pockets in the front making it tad easier to keep kitchen towels or waste clothes as per your requirements. For me, bib aprons are ideal when I am dressed up to go out and then remember to take care of a few things in the kitchen. And this happens to me a lot. With ropes, it's easier to wear and take off this apron without disturbing hair and dress. The pinafore aprons are cute, comfortable and are perfect for home use. These are the ones without the ropes and thus are extremely hassle free. You simply slip over each shoulder and it crosses in the back, which gives these aprons their other common name, the crossbody. Pinafore aprons can be worn for longer hours and I generally use them when I know my stay in and around the kitchen would be long. It is comfortable and saves me from hassle of tying and tying the ropes, time and again. The waist aprons begin at the waist and offer only coverage for the lap area. This I wear when I have friends over and I don't want to look as if I am working, but at the same time want to save my outfit from stains. Waste aprons are also a great option while serving food and beverages, while entertaining at home, or even while having a meal. If I want to buy one apron and debating which one to buy, I would prefer a bib apron that has an adjustable rope to tie behind the neck and waist. That way I can make the apron longer or shorter, tight or loose as per my convenience. The second advantage is that it can be easily turned into a waist apron by folding the upper part inside at the waist level. I am sold. A visit to a friend one day reminded me of my mother when I saw her spotless dress as she walked out of the kitchen cooking a storm for five. 
I was like, how could she? Her only reply was, aprons. Even though I knew aprons and the word wasn't alien at all, never ever consciously I thought about using and incorporating it in my daily life. But I followed her advice and the next day I got one for myself. I started wearing it religiously and I could see the difference this habit of wearing an apron was making. Now I cook without the slightest worry about stained clothes. My clothes are clean without stains. Thanks to aprons.